Hey what's up guys this is Sandeep Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to dual boot Android x86 and Windows 10 or 11 on our UEFI systems. So without wasting any more time let's get started. So first of all open your web browser and search for Android x86. Now click on download from the first link and click on download from FOSS Hub. Now download the x64 version of Android ISO file and after that go to another tab and search for Rufus click on the first link and download the latest version of Rufus we need Rufus to make a bootable USB of Android and once you have downloaded both files close your web browser now insert your pen drive which is at least of 4 GB and please make a backup of your pen drive data now go to your downloads directory and open Rufus after that select the Android ISO file which we downloaded and for the partition scheme select GPT and then click on start this process is going to take some time so I'm going to fast forward this part so once this process is completed close everything and then right click on your start menu and select disk management now once disk management is open right click on your largest local disk and select shrink volume now allocate about 20 GB minimum space for Android and after that right click on your free space and select new simple volume and create a new volume with label Android for recognition and format the file type as NTFS Now close disk management and restart your PC and while your computer is restarting press the boot menu key which is mostly F12 key or escape key to open the boot selection menu and from the menu choose the option which says USB or generic flash disk and after that it will boot from the Android USB. Now choose the option which says Android x86 installation. Now once you are in this menu choose the Android partition which we created on Windows and format this partition as ext4. Now choose the yes option and then choose the yes option again to install grub bootloader and then choose the option yes again to give root access. Now it will start installing Android x86 to that partition. Now after installation it will ask us to reboot or run, choose reboot and every time you start your computer you will see a grub menu to choose between operating systems. So for now I'm going to boot into Android and if you don't see Windows boot manager option do not panic because after you reboot from Android you will see this option automatically. Now I'm going to quickly complete this quick setup and if you don't have option to connect to Wi-Fi then probably your Wi-Fi card does not work on Android so you have to use external Wi-Fi adapter. So as you can see we have installed Android successfully. Now let's reboot into Windows to check if our Windows is working or not. To reboot, press the power button on your laptop to open up the power menu in Android and select reboot.
so we are able to boot into windows as well and it is working just fine so that's it for the video guys thank you for watching i hope you found this helpful and if you did please leave a like and subscribe to my channel thank you